Hey guys, how are you all doing? My name is Simpsy. Welcome back to some more Total War Rome 2. We're playing on the Divide as Impera submod as Rome. Welcome back to the campaign. Now, uh, let's start off with the Legion. So we have currently have Lego 1 here with my faction leader Lu uh, Lucius. And then we have Gannicus here with Legion 2. I'm going to be pushing upon the Swabians. Not too much has happened, uh, to be perfectly honest. We are at war with the Swabians because they attacked the Marco Mani. They've been actually holding quite well. Uh, pushing them back. I have had a couple of small uh, Swabian like sort of invasion sort of raiding parties that have got pretty far into my lands. They've only always had four, about four per unit. You know, I don't really know they're being very much like the Attila sort of AI just raiding back and forth but I've managed to rally out my units here and we're going to be pushing upon them today. So we currently have my two legions here. Now, technologies was I will actually recap um, what's happening around in the world, such as in Iberia, Greece as well. So, technologies-wise, we finally got our workshop. Obviously, the technology was researched, and we've also built a workshop at uh, Retium. We currently now have a lot of ballista. We have eight lots of... Uh, two, four, six, eight, yes, eight lots of ballista. Two per army. That's marching up north. We also have the technology being researched... Field Engineering Workshop. Once we've done that, we'll go back with the... Uh, maybe we could go into Economy. I'm not too sure. I'm just having a quick look. Maybe we should go with Economy. I don't know. But I would really, obviously, the end game is to try and get these uh, advanced barracks and, and legionary barracks. So, once that... Um, technology has been researched, we can build a field engineering workshop, which enables the recruitment of Roman Ballista, Roman Scorpion, and Roman Onigas, which would be absolutely fantastic. I do have Legion 4 up in the north, uh, defending my northern borders. They're going to be sitting here. But still, uh, trying to fix the public order problems. Just been micromanaging, really, but now we have a huge battle, and we'll push against the Swabians. My empire is sort of really, like... I feel like it's kind of exposed, and it's really interesting how it's sort of developed. When I started the campaign, I really wanted to push, like, west and then conquer all Gaul and maybe Iberia, but we've kind of got this, like, weird sort of just, like, straight up the middle of Central Europe, or I guess, yeah, somewhat. But, um, yeah, I didn't actually obviously want to go this way. It all started when the fucking Noria invaded me. Then I got the entire province attacking the Helvetia and the Retia, and then we got attacked by these northern bastards. But, uh... Very interesting. Now, diplomacy-wise, we currently have a defensive alliance with the Arvani, the Massilians, and the Spartans. These are defensive. Massilia is there. The Arvani are there. I obviously made, if you guys can remember, a defensive alliance with the Arvani, and we have a non-aggression pact with the Pictons, simply because we're at war with the Swabians. They attacked the Marco Mani, so they drew us into a pretty big wall. They got four regions, so I'm going to try push. Uh, depending if I can take the entirety of the province, I will. If not, we're just going to try, hopefully, liberate or subjugate. The Marco Mani, my military allies, of course, and Athens as well. Okay, so... Uh, trade rights-wise, we're getting 6,800. I just don't know why I left this to uh, only, uh, well, a fair few episodes ago now, but I don't know why I didn't do this at the start of the campaign. Highly recommend you if you do a Rome 2 campaign, sail your ships all around the world to try get trade. And now, obviously, because some of these long-term agreements, I'm just getting a shit ton of money. Um, Objectives-wise, well, military victory is still pretty ambitious. I don't see this campaign ending anytime soon. I'm still enjoying it regardless. So, before we get into the battle, I want to talk about the strategic o overview. So, let's start off with... I don't know. We'll start, we'll just, yeah, we'll go, we'll go around. Right, Sicily, uh, the, well, Carthage has actually taken Lilibaeum back, which is interesting. Syracuse have held it for mo a long time. Uh, Syracuse still owns most of northern Africa, even with the Massalii. They own, as well, a couple of settlements there in the province of Africa. Actually, they hold the entire province of Africa there. Looks like Carthage holds a couple of ter territories in southern Iberia, but mostly it's just still sort of scrapping. Um, obviously, in the west, the Arvani and their allies. The Iceni have looked like they've conquered nearly all of uh, Britannia, nearly. Ireland still controlled by the Abdanians. Up in the north, a couple of Germanic tribes. I'm hoping they don't attack me. Um... 
Yeah, they don't particularly like me, the Frisky Eye, Kimbri and whatnot, because we are killing their Germanic brothers. I don't really know what's happening over here. Down in Greece, Sparta has pushed up a fair bit. Their vassals here as well. Ard... A... AI? EI? RDI? RDI? I think that's how you say it. They've taken three provinces. Athens still holds Pella. Asia Minor. Um, Egypt obviously took out the Seleucids. They've got a pretty decent kingdom in there. The Armenians. The... Galatii. And Tillis are just fighting over Asia Minor. And... Chimeria. And the Cold Kiss. And the Royal Scythian are sort of fighting that. So it's sort of interesting how it's going. Diplomatic status there. Public order. Region wealth. Region growth. So, um, yeah, like I said, I haven't really got a... I, I wanted to go west, but I think I'm sort of just like... Trying to consolidate my kingdom. Try to finish off as many barbarians as possible. We only have one war going on, and I want to destroy the Swaby. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm still, obviously, very wary of Syracuse. The thing is, you, with this mod... You only have a limited number of resources the, uh, yeah, and a small amount of economy. You only really can focus on one war and one front. So you can't have like multiple missions going on. Or otherwise, you get stretched out, even though I'm pretty exposed. But I think I'm pretty well sure. I'm pretty well safe on my western flank. The Britain, they could invade. We're kind of work focusing uh, to our east against most of the Germanic factions. I'm hoping my Hellenistic brothers, Sparta and Athens hold their line, but it looks like Lily Bay, uh, Carthage and the Massalii are giving Syracuse a bit of a fight. But uh, it's pretty, pretty interesting. I also put um, champions in my army, so they'll level them up and give them experience and obviously upgrade my veterans as well. I do have a lot of, uh, I don't know if I've shown you guys, governors as well spread about, which is fantastic. But now, we are going to attack the Swaby at their capital. An interesting sort of like witch doctor there. That's a pretty cool model. They also do have a settlement here. Uh, where is it? Itrus. It's a gold mine there from what I can remember. So we're going to have to probably push up to their capital where the majority of their armies are. And then we'll push back down there. So, I think we should attack with my faction leader. What I'm going to do is, is because we're not quite in range, I'm going to push my uh, faction leader up here. We'll push Lucius. I might actually show you uh, the politics. 54%. I do have every single of my four legions commanded under Julia. I think that's the best thing forward. Um, Cornelia has 11%. Julia has 10%. Other houses have 25%. Now, with this army, um, I was going to siege... I might actually just push them up. Because I want to fight them on the field if I can. It'll be better. We'll attack the army. Oh my fucking god, why aren't you there? Why are my reinforcements in range? We'll retreat. What I'm going to have to do now is... I'm going to have to... Besiege the settlement with this army. We'll continue the siege. And then we'll get this army here to... Yes, they've got enough removing points. We'll hit this. They actually fled. The bastards fled. Now we're actually besieging with my second weakest army. Um, maybe I should try delay them. Poison provisions. We can't intercept orders. Uh, we'll try poisoning the provisions. Mission successful. We've weakened them uh, a little bit more. Obviously, that's been heavily nerfed in this. Um, can I save and not overwrite? No. Just in case we crash or something. All right. What are the... What? Why are the odds so much in our... Ah, oh, it's because they're... They're not in the zone of control. Okay. Holy fuck. So it's only the garrison. So it's just the Germanic garrison warriors. And then one unit. Wow. We're, we're definitely going to auto-resolve that. Is it because they're poisoned? Um, oh, we can't actually subjugate or liberate. Simply because that's their capital. So we're going to occupy... And we're probably going to fight this battle on the field, I think would be pretty fun if they don't run away. No, we do outnumber them quite significantly and we have the small garrison there. I don't know, maybe I shouldn't. For just like continuity's sake. I obviously want to get a battle, but just looking at that, like... 
yeah, no point of attacking. I do hate auto resolving, but it's not like we haven't been killing barbarians for a long time. Right, we're going to have to watch out for their agents, but we're going to have to also fix this. I think we'll push this army. What's got more movement points? No, I'll leave my general faction leader here. Right, we'll push this army down to Ithrus, and hopefully we can try to take this gold mine. What are our relations with some of the tribes over here, like the you? Oh, we have non-aggression packs. What about the boy? Ooh, they don't really like me whatsoever. Welcome. Speak. Uh, they're a Come strappy on. of the Lugii. Uh, the Lugii really don't like me. They're, mili they're defensive allies. Come, come. Uh, they don't want a non-aggression pact. Yeah, it looks like... Are these all German? I, I kind of generalized it, but I think I was pretty well right. Yeah, most of the Germans have turned against us now. It, it was really quite the opposite. The Celtics were against me for most of the campaign. Now the Germanic tribes are sort of banding against me. So we'll do a save. Looks like we didn't really need that superior artillery. Right, we'll end the turn there. Oh, we've got some bonuses. But guys, if you are enjoying this Total War Rome 2... Roman campaign. I'm thoroughly enjoying it. I really do like Rome too. It's a, it's a pretty good game. Um, then like it's like a pol it's like a I don't know. It's a huge huge difference uh, compared to like when the fucking release. Now what do I want? Probably poison because I use poison quite a lot to be honest. Did I do everything? Yeah, I did. And this divide et impera campaign is this mod is just awesome. The amount of like sub mods I'm running as well. But yeah, if you are enjoying it, like and subscribe is the best way. Liking the video exposes me to new subscribers. It's a great way to know as well if you guys are actually enjoying it or or not. Because um, if you aren't liking it, well, you're not enjoying it, are you? So, a friendly uh, reminder. Right, okay, Genoa. I want to, to upgrade my... food as much as possible. And subscribing obviously keeps you up to date with future uploads. I probably shouldn't upgrade that because I need to focus on the bloody region I just took, didn't I? I'll pull my spy in. Pretty weakened. What are my odds? And if you also want to stay connected to me, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Oh wow, undefended. Clear victory. On Instagram, I have my photos from my trip to Europe last year, if you're curious about that. Right. Um, oh, wow. Gold mine would be awesome. Slave trader. Um, we'll go with the public order. I don't really want to convert that just yet because, mind it, we don't, have, we don't actually have that much food, so I'm going to have to downgrade it and same with this. Uh, might be worth keeping that. We'll downgrade that as well. Because we're going to need some churches up in here, aren't we? Because we're going to have to convert the populace. Um, we'll move. What's the public order here? No. Nah. I think I'm better to have my legion up here. Simply because it's certain. Well, if the Isandia invade, I wouldn't be surprised. I have a feeling that... It, this wouldn't be uncommon. Right. Um, not looking too good here. How how am I going for slaves? Cause I, whoa, okay. 60% slaves there. I need to sell them. That's the problem. Or otherwise, that could be a huge problem. The thing is, if you keep slaves and you don't sell them, well, um, they come back to bite you in the ass, don't they? So we're going to have to sell the slaves. And they're easy to forget about, obviously. Right, well, um, let's have a look at what we're working with again. Facebook as well, I post my videos. And Twitter, if you haven't got Twitter, holy shit. Um, what was I doing? Minus cost of agriculture. Um, probably taxation would help a lot more. Tweeting, sort of stupid, but if you follow me on Twitter on my Simpsy Total War, I don't post anything on there except for the- Whoa. For fuck's sake, I knew it! I- 
I called it. I said it. Oh my god. Um, as I was saying, I'll, I'll just finish talking about Twitter before we move into this fucking Isaini bullshit. This mod is... Bloody hell. It's gonna... Crack me. It's got me on fucking tilt. Right, um... What was I saying? Yeah, I only post... I've got it connected to my YouTube, so every time I post a video, a link goes out. Uh, and it's it's spot on. So if you follow me, if you turn your notifications on, you'll know every time I get a video. If you like my iPhone, uh, it pushes through a notification. So, Right, well, we're at war with the Iceni now. Um, that is a pretty big kingdom at the moment. Um, looks like we're going to Britannia. We've just been fighting barbarians. But these are obviously British barbarians. Celtic and... What? Uh, Germanic. Everyone joined me, which is fantastic. Oh, I don't believe that. Lucky I've got a fucking legion, like, right up in the north. So, if they push any men over, we should be able to repel them for a time being. It's just... You just don't have the resources. Right, war declared. Faction destroyed Gutons, Pictons. Okay, that's pretty interesting. The Gutons are in the north. Maybe the Swaby attacked them or something. We've got some unseasonal conditions, which isn't the best for me. Did I get some... I got a lot of money just then. Um... Okay. Oh, oh, I reckon it was because I was selling my slaves. 1,692 from selling my slaves. That's awesome. That's what it was. Right, well, I think we're pretty well right here, to be honest. We have a full legion. Do the British want a peace treaty? Have they bitten off a little bit more than what Welcome. they can chew? Speed. Are you fucking serious? I dislike my Why did they even bother? Why did they attack me if they were just going to sue for peace? You want trade? What the fuck? However, all my other allies have joined the war, so I'm hoping that doesn't... I probably shouldn't have got trade with them. Yeah, Welcome. fuck them. Oh, uh, we're going to have to wait for 10 to Yeah, I, uh, I shouldn't have gotten trade because, obviously, all my allies are going to be like, Hey, we just uh, joined a war for you. Why are you trading with them? Oh, God. That's not going to be good, is it? Alright. Uh, minus 12. We're selling the slave population. It was at six, oh, 89. Bloody hell. We just need to, s to sell them. Right. Um, I think we're pretty... Okay, to continue to push. What did the... Do the Swabians only have still like two territories left? Now, this is, a, uh, this is good because we have the entirety of this region. However, if we push into here, we're going to be bordering Alibus in there as well. I do want to... Would they be interested in being subjugated now? I have little game Low. Wasting okay, so this way we aren't really overly too happy. We'll continue here. Okay, it looks like they don't have a very big army. Right, can we move this army here? Yeah, we can. Easy. Right, let's attack. I should be pretty... Yeah. Wow, they haven't really put much of a fight. Another clear victory. Uh, I really wish I could have been able to liberate or something there. That's a pain. Do you want peace now? Do not attempt to sweeten truth with heart. No, they're really not interested, are they? All right, now we've got to deal with this bullshit here. That's going to take a while to change up. How long is till my men get here? So we've got basically ten turns before we can cancel our treaty with the Arsene. Welcome. Speak. Come on. Do not waste time. Better spend it hunting. Yeah. Let's just have a look at my my allies, like Alvani. Yeah, minus 29 with Isaini. Fuck me. 33. Yeah, we're going to have to cancel it. Greetings. Oh. We are civilized folk, so you may speak as you wish, and we will give you an That's the thing. Do we, do we get condemned by all factions as my allies? We're going to have to break it. 
Ah, you brave old fool. Now does that... Was no how much does that... Does that make everyone a little bit better? We also have a non-aggression pact. We're going to need that, though. Oh, I'm hoping that doesn't piss off my allies too much. We might have to pay some of them off a little bit. Oh, Athens isn't too uh, overly fast. God, that's guest. fucked me. I serve as my people's we'll pay everyone a little bit of gold just to get our relations. I don't want to be like, throw open the doors. how much of an asshole? I, can settle on these I, don't, I can't afford my allies to turn on me. The guards will have me listen to you, but do not... I can sense um, that my guards smile on us and our agreement. These gifts will help. It's only a little bit of coin. Be welcome. But may Athena It's probably gonna be a lot when we add it up. Excellent. Um do I give gifts to Sparta? Be welcome. But may Athena yes. strike us all dumb. Okay. Right, my siege equipment is slowly moving up. It's taking a while. Right, we're converting that. Um, I might dismantle that. We'll dismantle that as well. We'll just just dismantle everything here. Pre-build an amphitheater. Was that what, is that even what we're building? An amphitheater? I don't understand why the guy saying he did that. Pretty stupid. Okay, minus five. Bloody hell. Right, um, what else? Yeah, so we might not even get a battle. Yeah, 21 minutes in this part. So a lot of micromanaging and stuff. Just, like, we get into the, like, that late part in the campaign where there's just so much fiddling, but... Yeah, it's just a shame that we, have, we haven't had any battles. Oh, well, I'm assuring there's some brewing. We'll finish off the Swaby. Um, Alliance broken, Pergamon, war declared, faction destroyed, populace unhappy. The city of Syracuse has fallen to the, to Carthage, wow. So it looks like Carthage is coming back. Slowly, okay, the Massalia have taken Carthage. Interesting. Right, probably gonna lose. I oh, know we should be right. Upgrade some of my units. We'll continue you north. We are in a pretty big winter at the moment. Right, let's build some religious buildings. So we're gonna bloody need it. Alabu, Swabia, that's a big territory. Um, can't really see over there that much either. Did anyone out trustworthy? Everyone's still basically at war with them. Anyone else want to trade with me? Royal Scythia? Maybe not. Right, um, 110,000. That's a lot of decent money. Uh, should we upgrade the settlement? Minus five food. I need to... We're sort of having a little bit of a food crisis. Nothing. Um, what have we got here? We need... To fix this. Hmm. What else can we do? I don't want stuff that minuses food. I need more food than bloody anything. Uh, yep. Perfect. Nothing's really going to help me here. 2,400. Maybe I'm better off recruiting another army. Well, now that we're making 7,000 per turn. Well, I, I did want to actually recruit another army, but... Well, this guy's sort of on the move, isn't he? Because that's why I added two more additional ballista. Alright, let's end the turn. Oh god, we got some traits to do. Okay, what are we going to do? Rome. Um, can't go any more taxation. 
probably, yeah, just basically get food if we can. It's food and taxes. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I obviously, ideally, when I was pushing against the Swaby, like, I would liberate all these factions, but if we take the last Swabian settlement, maybe we're better off just taking it. Sabotage where? Rebellion imminent. Okay. Yeah, I don't blame them. What is it? 64%. How much are we making for our bloody slaves? It's just because we're just not selling them quick enough, I don't think. Uh, it's taking a little bit longer for my buildings to come. As well. Minus five food. Uh. Okay. Right. Um... I don't, I st I'm still befuddled by the Isani. Like, why would you do that? Right, we're going to continue to push my ballista up as well. And we're also to continuing to get another army. Probably go with Triarii now. Uh, we can upgrade. I might do that, actually. Where I can. Okay, right. What else are we working with? Let's have a look here. Nothing really. Um, I'm trying to think. We're still not fucking stable here. It's going to be a bloody rebellion before we push upon the last of the Swaby. Peace, moderate. Great. No, they don't want to bend the knee. Right, okay. So let's have a look at the... Factions with the surrounding areas and have a look at their defensive allies, military allies, and whatnot. So we've got the Kimbrii in Alabu, and we have the Lukii. All right, so okay, they have the boys. So they'll be brought into the war. They are actually defensive alliances with the Swabians. They're at war with a fair few factions. Kimbrii are on their own, so maybe we actually. Well, they do have a fucking. It's getting pushed even further that way. I could take it and then make peace with them. Yeah, let's have a look with my spy. Oh, I probably should keep an eye on the... the Swaby just here. Right, it's in the turn. There's going to be some rebels soon. I could even... Before I was thinking, I probably could have let the rebels take this and then, like, subjugate them or something. Unless they're actual rebels, I can't do that. Um, what have we got here? I feel like I keep on saying that. I don't really want to use my, uh, my, my veterans overly that much. I just want to have them in my army, so if, if there's bonuses for that, I would be more inclined... My plus authority performing actions. Doesn't really look like it. Right. It's in the turn. Yep, slave uprising. Brilliant. It's because we just captured so bloody many of them. Are they slaves? Bloody hell, why the hell are they doing that? Yeah, they are slaves, because they're the horse. Celtic levies. Celtic skirmishes. Wow, we are just... coming up against professional Romans. I'll be taking the clear order resolve. And there goes most of our income. We did capture 55, so we'll <laughs> enslave the 55 men. Ugh. It's being quelled. Which is interesting. Okay, we'll, f we'll finish them off here. 
Just so they don't like run away and get more. Oh, that's been crushed. Um, I was going to have a look at the percent of the slaves, 54%. <laughs> We just, we aren't selling them quick enough, but we've hit the half an hour mark for the episode. A couple of interesting developments, no battles, but we pushed basically against the Swaby. I might even continue to push. Gonna have to assess there. The Iceni did attack us and then got peace with us. All my allies hopefully aren't too angry with me. Treaties with, with Iceni, 21 past treaties, 5. Yeah, that really just like, that made everyone so fucking angry. I don't blame them. A more... that's... Maybe that's what the Iceni wanted me to cause discontent. But I'm going to end it here. Thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. You know my social media links in the description below. If you want to play the Divide and Impera or the mod along with me, the links are in the description below to down for you, download for yourself and the sub mods. But I'm going to end it here. Cheers for watching. Goodbye.